Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. We're on the road. We're not in the studio, but I'm uh, still going to bring you guys stories that we need to cover. So Oxfam uh, just put out a, a report. They literally dropped it on tax day and also a petition on how to tax the wealthy. And what what <laughs> it's funny, they do this study, and then in the study, that I, I like what they're doing, then they're encouraging people to join and sign this petition to tax the wealthy because it's their information of what that, what those taxes would bring is pretty powerful. So I want to show you this and also a quick shout out to everybody who came to my shows at the Zanies and Rosemont uh, in Chicago. It was awesome. Thanks for coming, everybody. It was really great to see everyone on the road and we got more, sh more shows coming up uh, this month, which I will tell you at the end, go to grandmelwood.com. So this is, the petition, uh, your petition signature in action, but it's based on the, we're taking your petition signature to the Biden administration and Congress and letting them know it's time to tax the rich and invest in lifting people out of poverty. One thing we know for sure is that inequity makes everything from humanitarian crises to the impacts of climate change worse. Yet as families fall deeper into poverty, the ultra wealthy continue to amass wealth while paying nearly nothing in taxes. According to leaked tax returns, the top 25 billionaires paid an average of 3.4% in federal income tax in recent years. Meanwhile, the average taxpayer pays a rate of 13%. <laughs> okay, like that right there is insane. They make the most money and pay the least amount in taxes. Because let's be honest, the tax laws are written by the rich. Robert Kiyosaki's got a great book, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, there's Robert Kiyosaki, he's a, you know, he's a big capitalist and he doesn't like unions. And there's a lot to be critical of Robert Kiyosaki. On. He's all, he thinks socialism is like, oh, Stalin's going to come take your house away or whatever. But when he, one thing he is right about is that the tax laws were written by the rich. So that's why they pay 3.4%. That's why they pay 3.4%. So let's let's go let's go back to this now here. So first of all I want I want to show you this article um that I well this is not ah, that's a podcast. All right. We don't want to do that. So um and th th this this Oxfam and I'm, I'm going to put it in the chat right now so you guys can go to this site um, and sign this petition. I'll put this on the screen right there. All right. Um, because it is a petition you should sign. But I want to, one of the things they want to, what, what they're showing here, um, right here, new calculations from Oxman found that fair taxes on America's billionaires and giant corporations could generate 252 billion dollars in revenue every year to lift people out of poverty. Taxing the rich would allow us to invest in programs that are proven to help families like the child tax credit, expand affordable health care, child nutrition waivers, public health COVID programs, affordable and accessible child care, paid leave, clean energy and the environment. Just look at that number, $252 billion. Okay. So And we also know this from MMT, right? You, they can just give us, they could just print the money. They should be taxing these rich people because it's totally unfair. Why are we all working hard and it's, we're all just scrambling around and paying tax bills and all this other stuff when they don't have to? Why is that? How were they able to get away with that? And look what, what just the tax revenue would generate, $252 billion dollars a year. So when people say, well, like we want Medicare for all, and they argue, well, how are we going to pay for it? It's pie in the sky. Say, well, first of all, we could just pay for it the way we pay for all these wars and Wall Street bailouts is we just, that yeah, we just write checks and do it. <laughs> then there's, we could cut the military budget in half and still outspend China, the, the country that's the next in line to uh, military spending. We would still, if we cut our military budget in half, we would still outspend China's budget by about $200 billion a year. 
So we could do that. We could tax the billionaires and generate another $252 billion a year. So there's over, that's up almost in the neighborhood of about five, $600 billion a year. I just found doing two things, two things. Again, if we cut our military budget in half, Congress just approved a $768 billion budget last year. Senate gave them an extra 10 billion. So now we're in like $778 billion is what we're spending. If we cut that in half, we would still outspend China and still outspend Russia. So it's just crazy to me that we've been having this conversation, not to mention the, the billionaires only pay a 3.4% tax rate on average. Then you got stuff like Jeff Bezos flying that stupid cock rocket around the planet. It costs $5 billion and he got a lot of tax money. He got your tax dollars to pay for that rocket. That should make you mad. If it doesn't make you mad, you're not paying attention. This is why we need to stop with the like, oh, billionaires are so awesome. No, no. In socialism, there can be millionaires. There just can't be anybody poor. There can be no poverty in socialism. You can make, you can make, and I firmly believe you can work hard and earn a mil, couple million bucks. Good for you. The only way to become a billionaire, aside from, you know, you bought 20,000 Bitcoins uh, when it was a penny or something like that. The only way to make wealth under a, the capitalist system is to exploit people, exploit labor, exploit people's ideas, pay off politicians to get favorable laws and tax breaks and all that other stuff. So this is just, it's just insane to me. So um, I really want people to understand. So first of all, sign this petition. You see that link below. And just understand how this works. How uneven the scales are for all of us. The 1% control everything. They write all the laws. They get everything. So just want to show you that. That's what's happening. Let's look at it one more time. This is what we could get. Child tax credit, expanded affordable health care, child nutrition waivers, public health COVID programs, affordable and accessible. How much would it do for all of us if we all just got free health care? Not to mention student debt forgiveness and everything else. So clean energy in the environment. There's a lot that can be done. We could have a really fantastic country and a fantastic world. That's why you cannot vote for a Democrat. You cannot vote for a Republican. Do not vote for those two parties and do not give them your money. You cannot reform those political parties from within. It is impossible. Look what's happening to Nina Turner. They just screwed her over. And she's on Twitter saying, oh, the Democrat. And I just wrote, you got to leave. Leave the party. It, you can't. So it won't matter who, who gets control in, in, in the midterms. It won't matter. It's all a scam. So follow the money, connect the dots, get the truth, and shave your knuckles for justice. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Elwood or rockfin.com slash Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham-Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.